feel nervousness or worry or anxiety um, or anger are expressions which are so very associated with human beings, don't you think so? Well, if these are um, you know, normal human expressions, definitely there are going to be words or phrases which you could use to express your anger and frustration or for that matter even nervousness so or for that matter even your worry so um what are these different phrases or words or idioms through which you could express your worry or nervousness are there situations wherein we are really nervous about something and we're not able to express it as openly because maybe we are falling short of words but you won't fall short of words anymore because here you will learn about many different expressions which you can use to express your worry or nervousness. Well you all are once again most welcome to tutorials point. Let's go ahead and learn about what are the different ways in which you could express your worry or nervousness. Bated breath. What is bated breath? When you're like like that you're just you just you know your your breath is so fast and you it could be either due to excitement or it could be due to nervousness but you're just panting and you're waiting with a bated breath for the results that is when you're extremely extremely nervous and i mean this is the perfect expression to sort of express that kind of a feeling so we waited with a bated breath for the winner to be announced so i mean when you're, you're panting and your breath, the, the frequency of your breath has increased, that is when you wait with the baited breath. So if that is the situation, use this phrase. Make your blood run cold. Well, when does your blood run cold? When do you start to feel chills and shivers? When you're so, so nervous, when you're so afraid of something. Yet another phrase to um, convey that yes you are feeling very nervous the look in the prisoner's eye made my blood run cold so if something that just scares you off way too much that could make your blood run cold break out in a cold sweat well yet another sign of nervousness is that you break out in a cold sweat I mean even during a situation when the weather is like completely cold but you would be sweating so um, that is why it is called as to break out in cold sweat so something that really scares you off could make you break out in a cold sweat so I get nervous at the dentist and usually break out in a cold sweat so anything could make you break out in a cold sweat and if that is what is happening with you this is the right expression bundle of nerves well someone who is very very nervous and anxious is referred to as a bundle of nerves so um, you could be a bundle of nerves sometimes if you're doing something which you find really challenging or if you something that you're afraid of doing you could become a bundle of nerves my son is doing his driving test today needless to say he is a bundle of nerves so you could be a bundle of nerves many a time when you are doing something or when you are um, you know attempting to do something which you're afraid of have butterflies in your stomach I'm sure none of you is gonna eat butterflies and have butterflies in your stomach but yes again an idiomatic way of expressing that you're feeling very very nervous so when you feel very nervous you're supposed to have butterflies in your stomach at the beginning of my exam, I always have butterflies in my stomach. Don't we all, haven't we all experienced this before an interview or a viva or an exam wherein we have butterflies right in our stomach and we are so nervous. Like a cat on hot bricks. Again, um, a sort of a funny way to express that yes, you are very, very nervous. So is actually, again, um, basis the situation basis the 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 feeling that you're trying to convey you could use any expression and if you feel it is more of a light sort of a situation and you want to express your nervousness you could use this phrase the week before the result was published she was like a cat on hot bricks really really nervous really afraid really anxious 
on the edge of one seat when are we on the edge of our seat do we usually sit just on the edge but we actually also when we sit somewhere and if we are right on the edge it only means that there is something which has really excited us there is something which we are really anxious about and something that we are um, you know really really um, sort of nervous about that is when we happen to be on the edge of our seat so well yet another way look at bob he is on the edge of his seat watching that rugby match so if this is where you are this is the right expression get your fingers burned so when you get your fingers burned when you probably have tried something and you just failed in it and that failure has sort of overtaken you your thought and mind and you're so afraid of that failure and you're so nervous because of that failure that is when you've got your fingers burned he got his fingers burned so badly in the last elections that he decided to withdraw from politics well what a pity but yes it might happen to anybody jump out of one skin do you really jump out of your skin well i'm sure none of us does but yes an idiomatic way of saying that i was so nervous that i just jumped out of my skin i was so so anxious so sort of afraid so so fearful that i just jumped out of my skin Jane nearly jumped out of her skin when the horse put its head through the window. So if suddenly you happen to see something that just scares you off, you could jump out of your skin. Shake like a leaf. Again, a very, very funny and again an idiomatic way of expressing that you're very nervous. Usually whenever we are nervous, our legs wobble, don't they? We just end up shaking like a leaf. So that is again um, you know what it means when you're shaking like a leaf it means you're very nervous at the beginning of the interview i was shaking like a leaf yes very very sort of sad but true whistle in the dark so when you whistle in the dark it only means that um you are very nervous but you're just trying to cover it up um, and you don't want to let other people know that you're feeling very very nervous so uh, you try to hide your fear in a frightening or a dangerous situation. I mean, you're completely chickened out, but you don't want people to uh, know that you are very, very nervous and very anxious deep inside. That is when you whistle in the dark. Tom looks confident, but he's just whistling in the dark. He knows he's going to lose his job. So aren't there times wherein we don't want people to know that, okay, I'm very, very nervous. I'm... And the times where we try to cover up so such situations are actually referred to as whistling in the dark well different idioms different ways and expressions to express that yes you're feeling very nervous and you could use any of them in your language to upskill the way in which you speak well i will see you again in the next video with yet another amazing and interesting topic till that time keep learning in tutorial with tutorials point and tutorics and do not whistle in the dark have a good day.